I'm beside myself with glee. I've got some double scorpion damper assies. Uh, they're going to replace these, which have no damping effect at all. I mean, obviously, in an ideal world, we'd all like triple centipedes or even quadruple beetles, but double scorpions should be fine. And whilst these dampen my ride, they will also be dampening the pants of all the maidens I glide past and arouse on my Honda Cub. Okay, due to the adult nature of this video, you might want to make sure that um, kids and stuff aren't around, but Ooh, I put fresh washers on so there's no wagularity in the, um, in the mounts. These will be kept as prized family heirlooms. Now, much as I would love some alone time with those shock absorbers over there, um, my boy has got a mate over, so we're going to go and drown them in the swimming pool. But I have got uh, an indelible memory of all of the harshest bumps around here ingrained into my perineum and, and scrotum. So I will go and um, see how the bike behaves over the most horrible bumps. And I'll get back to you. Anyway, paddling pool time. Gorgeous harvest evening. Can hear the stubble crunching beneath my feet. You can see the wondrous double scorpion shocks there. They're actually really good. I've ridden over um, a particular hump at maximum velocity that previously made the bike do this. Sort of oscillate or undulate or sort of rhythmically pulsate. After you'd hit it, there was no damping to slow the springing down. It just sort of gradually got level again. With this, it just hits and compresses, comes back up, and you're going again. So definitely worthwhile. I also rode it over the top of Ramway Hill, um, quite a rough track, and it was beautifully damped. It now makes the front feel quite uh, agricultural or rudimentary. I also did my MPG. You take the number of miles you did, in my case 69.4, the number of litres you used, 2.43, Divide the mileage by the literage and then multiply by 4.544 to give your miles per gallon. This thing is doing 129 point something miles per gallon, 129.3 or something. I'll put the sum on the screen. Absolutely stunning. And it's the perfect counterpoint to not only the recession, but also to new green vehicles, EVs and stuff that have so much embodied carbon and embodied energy and resources in them. That already exists. It was cheap to buy, cheap to run, and it's doing 129 miles to the gallon. Incredible. And you've just got this incredible view of the Pusey Vale. I mean, it's, it, it is as hot as a bastard. It's probably about 30 degrees still. Nevertheless, I love this bike. Also worth noting that this lid came from a friend that was very lucky. Uh, he was asked to ride across the US with a chum on the back. Uh, his chum turned out to be a, an engine veteran. And that is the helmet that went across the US. He's got no use for it anymore. So it becomes mine which is a lovely gesture and the only thing I can promise him I'll do is use it and it's so much more comfortable than a, a full face helmet. If you're in two camps as to whether you should get a C90 or not I'm HIV positive that you definitely should 110% get one. Perhaps you can see that in there. There's some deer in the woods. How in the name of God's dick did that occur? We're on a straight road and there's that. That is 15 metres into the woods. BMW 1 series. Someone's had a really, really bad time of it. No great loss though. Actually quite nice to see a 1 series trashed. Yeah, complete, how the fuck did you manage that crash, but there's more animals rustling about in the bush. Anyway, time for me to go and rustle about at home and eat something. I lied. 
Don't go home. State of it. Absolutely mint. I know it's not really a, an achievement at all, but it, it feels like one. Good old bike. Right. So like most people living locally, it's Saturday, so I've come to throw a roast chicken carcass into the river. Uh, you can probably also see I'm cooling off my lurcher. So in an ideal world, you'd get it, get it right in up the undercarriage because of the drought. It's not always easy. Right, and as is traditional, we say windedly. Into the abyss it goes. And as you can see, there's, there's absolutely nothing happening. There we go. And you can see it's digging for truffles there. Even though the casting of the hen carcass into the river didn't really give me what I was wanting, uh, I did manage to pick up a copy of the Gusset and Harold, which is great. Screams louder than the TV, turn the TV up. Yep, brilliant. Like a roller coaster. Explosive farming. It's a fantastic paper, this. And as a proper decompression of uh, what I think of these, they make the bike feel far more sashistifacted. You can hear that my uh, snoutle assembly is dripping and sniffing. Uh, that's because of the harvest. I think a lot of the dust that gets kicked up is maybe pollen that would ordinarily come out when the things are flowering, but never mind. Yeah, they, they just make it feel far more grown up and a bit more like a big bike. Maybe it's slightly harder. There's less... The springs are harder. Basically, you don't get quite as much squash over tiny bumps, but I think overall it's improved quite a bit. <laughs> Thank you. 